ever since I could remember, I loved photography. And uh, when, I would, when I would see a scene that interested me, I would actually frame it in my mind as if it was a, a photograph, as if I was taking a photograph. And uh, I, it just, just came naturally to me to do that. Uh, and, uh, and so I've been taking pictures for decades. Uh, but uh, generally, uh, in the past, it was just uh, memorializing events with friends, family, uh, trips, whatever. But I didn't think of my f photography uh, in an artistic way. Most of my, my photographs are taken uh, you know, in my travels, and, and my wife and I travel to pretty diverse locations all around the world. I always wanted to, 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 to photograph places uh, and, um, uh, and people and, uh, uh, and scenes that I was visiting in a way which was unconventional. If I'm, if I'm in a place, I want to think of what may be interesting that people might not otherwise see. And if I could present that to them in a, uh, in a, in a, a creative, inspiring way, then, then they'll see something beyond what you know, one would typically see when thinking about a place. And that's what I try to do. Uh, and the same holds true for people that I photograph. Uh, you know, Monks in Myanmar and Bhutan. You know we don't we don't we don't see, we don't often see them in an unconventional way. I I I, lo I like to do that. Uh, these are uh, th this is uh, taken in uh, in southern India, a town called Cochin, also known as Kochi, and uh, this is a an old rickety bus at the end of the workday, and these women were obviously coming home from work, and I don't know that you could see the faces in the background here, but there's one, two, three, and there's, there's more if you look really sort of deeply. And uh, the centerpiece is obviously this woman who's standing there who's still, you know, dressed very beautifully, um, but uh, it's just there was a, a sadness, uh, 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 you know, about this. I mean, it was the end of the day. They were obviously going home they should have been happy but they seem to be all you know off thinking about something you know in a faraway place this is uh, this photograph was taken uh, uh, in an area called Bagan in Myanmar uh, I, my wife and I were in another balloon and uh, in Bagan, uh, over the centuries, uh, families built these temples, they're called stupas, and uh, they were used for worship. The size was determined by really sort of how wealthy the families were. And so uh, at its height, there were probably 10 or 12,000 of these stupas dotting the landscape uh, in and around Bagan. There were only a couple of thousand left, but the best way to see them is from above. And, uh, and so I thought the context of shooting, you know, another balloon together with the, uh, the landscape of, of uh, stupas uh, on that flat surface would really sort of just make a really wonderful composition. And I think, well, at least I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish, whether somebody likes it or not, that's another story. I feel a little schizophrenic because uh, I, this, you know, my art is, uh, is extremely important to me and so is my work, uh, but yet I have to wear two completely different hats when I'm, when I'm, when I'm doing both. Uh, it, you know, in one I have to be uh, uh, a fierce litigator and in, and in my other world I have to be, um, you know, a, a sensitive, uh, insightful, creative person. I don't ever intend to retire. I love, the, I, I love what I do, I love the work I do, and I do feel that really this uh, helps me 
uh, create a balance in my life between my creative artistic side and my professional side. And I think the spillover is really very beneficial. I think I could actually be more creative in the way I look at my cases and prosecute my cases. Um, I think it actually uh, provides uh, a very uh, interesting commentary for you know my co-counsel and my adversaries in cases. Uh, they are not used to seeing um, a person in my position in this light. Uh, they, it th throws them off a little bit to see me this way and to look at my books of photographs. And I can't tell you how many phone calls I've gotten when the invitations went out to this show of uh, people calling me saying, do you know that there's a photographer with your name? And I said, well, that photographer happens to be me.